Hey everyone! This week, I made a few low-poly models for practice, and in this video, I'm going to try and talk about some of the things I learned while modeling and rigging these. I based these off of characters from Naruto, just to keep things a little interesting and fun. So let's start with the first character here. This is Hinata, I think you can tell if you're familiar with the characters from the show. For this model, I tried to limit myself to only 256 faces, which by the way is from a challenge called 256 face, where you model a character with only 256 faces and have a texture map of 256 by 256 pixels. I did not have a texture map for Hinata here, all the colors are just separate materials really. This model ended up with 250 faces, which is less than 256, and I don't think it's against the rules to be under the poly count, so I'll still consider this a win. I separated the hair, head, torso, arms, and legs into different objects to keep things simpler. I later realized that I should have further separated the different joints when I tried to rig the model and the limbs were having weird deformations. As for the topology, you can clearly see that I really didn't pay any attention to it. I only focused on being under the poly count with a somewhat decent shape. It's quite challenging to juggle everything all at once, but hopefully it'll get easier later on. Moving on to the next character, this is Rock Lee, and I modeled him the next day. He has 344 faces and no texture map again. For this model, I mainly focused on the shape and not much on the poly count or the topology. I realize now that it's important to have references for the topology as well as the shapes and forms. I don't think it's helpful to create a topology from imagination, and it's better to use other people's topology to learn from, much like anything in art really. I did have one topology reference for the face, so you can see it looks somewhat better than the last model. I also separated all the joints this time, so the bends are much nicer on this one as well. But yeah, there's not much else to talk about Lee, so I'll move on to the next character. My next character here is Ino. She has 293 faces. I was slightly more loose with this character and was mainly just trying to have fun creating her. I really like how her hair turned out on this low poly model to be honest. Just like Lee, I modeled her joints separately. I also modeled her apron skirt thing as a separate object. I did not have too many references for this model, just one character sheet and one full body image for the color references and that's about it, so no reference for the topology. When it comes to the rig, all of these characters have the exact same rig, more or less, and I created each rig from scratch every single time. With Eno here, I had two extra bones in the rig for the two parts of her hair, and that's all. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how she turned out. The last character is Shikamaru and he has 268 faces. This is the first character that I actually had a texture map for, as you can see. And the texture map looks pretty horrifying actually. I'll try to make less horrifying texture maps in the future, but for now this is what I could manage. Colors also need some improvement. The face, however, I drew with my mouse, so it's not the most charming face, but I think it gets his motion across. I added this texture map to this shader setup to get the tomb shaded look. By the way, this is the exact same shader setup I used for every part of every character I made. It has a diffuse BSDF that goes into a shader to RGB node, which then goes to this color ramp node. The interpolation mode in color ramp is set to constant to get the tune look. I then multiplied the output of the color ramp with the texture map using a mix RGB node and plugged that into the surface of the material output. For materials that don't have a texture map, I set the light and the shadow colors in the color ramp and plug the output of the color ramp directly into the material output. I learned this shader setup in one of Daniel Kruder's video. 
I'll leave a link to it in the description box if you're interested. Daniel is an excellent artist and you guys should check his stuff out if you haven't already. Anyway, this is all I have to show this week. I'll try to make models with slightly higher poly count for the next video and see how that goes. I'm not sure if I will rig them, but we'll see. Also, I really like to say thank you very much to everyone who subscribed and left nice comments in the last video. It has been super fun to read everyone's opinions and advice. I'm really excited to share my progress and journey with y'all. But with that, I hope this was enjoyable to watch, and I'll see you later.